Now, when my dad died, he left us nothing. He didn't have anything. It was not a bad thing. But I said to my mum, there, and I said it to her f a few times, like, please get some kind of life insurance. Get a funeral plan in place so I know. I know it's awful. It's a hard conversation to have, but please have something in place. The year before she passed, she said that she was looking into something. I mean, that's nine years that she's not done anything, but that's by the by, she said she was. And I remember her saying that's so why he's bottomed that house, trying to find something to help pay for the funeral. Because funerals aren't cheap. But she didn't. The only thing I knew about my mum was she wanted to be cremated and that she wasn't that religious. So when the funeral directors start asking you all these questions and you just don't know the answers to her, if you take anything away from this episode, guys, please let it be this. Have a plan in place. Now, you don't have to have that awkward conversation if you don't want it, but write it down and tell whoever where those plans are. So when that time comes... It's all in one place, and it's such a relief. You know, I was telling a lot of people about this as it was happening, and my fiance's mum and dad turned around to me and went, that's what we're doing. Because of you, we're, we're putting plans in place. And it's not pleasant, but it just makes the hardest time of your life a little bit easier knowing that things are sorted, because I was panicking. I couldn't have my mum not have a funeral. <laughs> 